What if a neural chip could let you switch bodies with another person? A device that could rewrite the boundaries of human experience, blurring the line between your life and someone else's. Neurotechnology is evolving fast, making mind-to-mind -mind links a real possibility. With each breakthrough we get closer to sensing thoughts, emotions, and memories. Imagine a world where you could transfer your entire consciousness to someone else's body, not just seeing through their eyes. You wake up but you're not in your body anymore. The reflection in the mirror is a stranger. And yet you feel everything as if it were your own. Body swapping could redefine identity, age, and even gender. The concept of you becomes fluid, flexible, no longer tied to flesh or face. Would governments need to regulate who swaps with whom? Laws might be rewritten, ethics redefined, and rights re-examined in this new world. Relationships could deepen or fall apart when partners literally walk in each other's shoes. Love could grow from empathy or collapse under unexpected truths. For some this tech could mean escaping limitations they have lived with for life. A paralyzed person could dance again, a voiceless child might finally speak through another body. Would the rich buy better bodies creating a new kind of inequality? Elites might upgrade their lives while others are left behind in shells they cannot afford to escape. Could your body be hacked and stolen? Imagine waking up in darkness your body walking the world under someone else's control. Technicians would monitor every neural signal to avoid memory loss or personality glitches. Precision would be crucial a misplaced signal could fragment your sense of reality. One error in lives could be changed forever, a wrong connection a corrupted file, and your true self may never come back. Who is responsible for crimes your mind or your body? In courtrooms new questions arise is guilt physical or psychological? Military could use this tech to send minds into cloned bodies for war. Swapping bodies might give thrill but could also lead to identity addiction. The temptation to escape who you are over and over could become irresistible. What would you learn by literally becoming your parent, sibling, or child? Empathy would reach new dimensions bridging generations through live. In emergencies this tech could mean the difference between life and death. A trained mind could enter a healthy body in seconds to perform surgery, defuse bombs, or rescue victims. Would I control who swaps and for how long? Algorithms might soon decide not just our fates but our forms. But what if something went wrong would you ever return to your real self? In the vast maze of minds and bodies the greatest danger may be losing your place forever.